love how everybody, as you grow older, you have different eras. Yeah. I had my hard drug era, and then I had my uh, stoner era, and now I'm in, I'm in my fishing and gardening era. I was wondering what your eras were. I feel like Corbin didn't change, though. I feel like he's still in his Disney era and his, his <laughs> yeah. like Paw Patrol sippy cup era. Yeah, you know, I've had a very stunted development. That's like that uh, Netflix show. That's <laughs> crazy. No, you're thinking of uh, Prisoner's... Uh, development a terrible start to <laughs> such a so terrible bad. start yeah never mind I'm, I'm taking it back yeah i tried to segue that was awful <laughs> I, I wish have, I, I tried my goddamn something. hardest i dude i don't know I, I i don't think i even had the energy right there the energy was off yeah was it a soundboard brendan i've been using a soundboard for the last five <laughs> minutes just to see if <laughs> have you really <laughs> what have is you really wrong with you <laughs> Oh my I, god. I, I it's so tiring to, to be around you. Did say clap? Just, I, I gave you. <laughs> did you not even say clap? You I, fucking I, used I, sound I, did, I did. I did. I did it earlier. I did it earlier. I was like, okay, it's got to be like, they got to figure it out right away. Like right into the recording, they got to figure out that I'm using a soundboard. But <laughs> you didn't. I mean, no. why would we guess that? You didn't even say anything. All you did was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Half, half the stuff you say will sound like a soundboard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His burb. Uh, yeah. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm so tired of you! What the f It's like I'm literally cursing oh. you. I fucking I the worst, part, the worst part is that you do it so fucking often. When we're recording pain hole, you do the same thing. <laughs> the worst part is I'm too fucking stupid to do anything about it because I don't realize. <laughs> Brendan, there's no reason why we would doubt that you are a fucking... Because every time we start recording, everybody's silent. Why would we... Why would we think it's a voice? I was a I was actually really hoping so like I could get into like full recording with just that, but I was like, you know what? No, no, no. There's no way. No, the second anyone asks something too specific, like it's all over. Yeah, yeah. that wasn't the soundboard that time. That was me. <laughs> I can tell. Like we have to use that uh, audio because I want I want to know how if the audience uh, picks up on that it's a soundboard. <laughs> I oh, really want to know. So now they're gonna hear, hear my awesome fucking. What is your era? What's your treasure? <laughs> hey, what? It's literally, the fucking bit from Auntie Donna. Just what's your treasure? My treasure is my family. <laughs> fucking oh my hell. god. Oh, welcome to the podcast. I fucking hate this show. <sighs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> God, I, I wish that was did you Wait, did you actually sync with Yeah, the, the audio, it's the clap fine. sync is synced. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Did you clap at the same time or did you just go clap? Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. That was me that time. <laughs> I don't know. That was, that was my bad. I accidentally clicked on something that was very loud. Oh. <laughs> it, it was like playing educational fucking volume, incredibly high volume. Educational volume. I, I went, what's that article? And I clicked on it because I didn't know why it was in the mail and it just went, this is an educational resource, like, and super loud. Speaking Dude. of siblings, I once, I once psyoped my brother. What? what the fuck? What, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What do you mean? Psy All right. Um, so back when we were kids, uh, both me and my little brother got in trouble around the same time for stealing my grandpa's credit card. But we both stole it in different instances. <laughs> So I'm, I'm already in love. With <laughs> Where the start are we of going? This. Where so are we going? Here's what he did. All right. I'm going to yes. say what he did and then what I did. This is within like months apart, right? Yeah. So this is this is how I got away with it and how he did. Um my brother is 3 years younger than me. At the time I think I was 12 or 13, he would have been 9 or 10. So mm. he took my grandpa's credit card, memorized it, gave him back the card. And then went on to Facebook and like bought a bunch, a bunch of like money in like these mafia games on oh, Facebook. And God. I mean like mafia oh, scene. Uh, like a twelve hundred dollars yeah. oh, wow. worth of a, like mafia money. And he immediately, immediately like immediately was like, I did it. Yeah, he took responsibility for it. Uh me, on the other hand, I got maybe this was more like when I was like 14, honestly, with the time period, 14 or 15, maybe. But I this is essentially like I, it was a ridiculous amount of money. Right. And yeah. like a month later, I 
he he got in trouble, got in a fuck ton of trouble. And like, I think like a month later, I didn't do the exact same thing, but I did end up spending $400 total. Oh my God. Damn. So let me tell you what I did and, and how like I got away with it. Cause I was a shit fucking teenager and a shitty kid. Uh, $200 of it was on Gaia online to buy <laughs> items on Gaia online. <laughs> The other two hundred dollars was all softcore etchy anime on Xbox. Fucking what? <laughs> and Xbox Why? Live. <laughs> buying the individual episodes. You were buying what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Which Who one's does etchy? that? Is that the one where it's boys making out? No, etchy, etchy is etchy what? is like softcore hentai where there's no like there's not a lot of like nudity, there's no sex, but there's a lot of like boobies and titties. Boober. Booba, booba, Edgy, edgy is like softcore porn. They yeah. sell, they sell that on Bill Gates. They on sold that. Xbox? They sold episodes of Icky Tosen on uh, on Xbox. Yeah, and I bought all of them and watched it because I was like, like Booba. XBLA. Booby. Yeah, Xbox Live. What the fuck? Like three sixty. I got away with it. Kids Xbox, use that. Xbox. Yeah, Why the three sixty. The three sixty. I, the three, I remember so the three six. No, no, no. I, I no. I remember the three sixty had some fucking garbo on there. I, I so like. I love that Sony censors Trish's ass and DMC five and Xbox goes. Ah, fuck it. Anime you chicks making out. Let's big go. Bombers. Go nuts. So like the way I got away with it was I I I basically lied and said that uh, I may, had one of my friends message me on Xbox Live with like a fake message on like a separate account saying that uh, uh, I, I would get free stuff in a game. And so I started crying when they when my parents and my grandparents confronted me, started crying. And then I showed them the message. They were like, oh, honey, <laughs> because I tricked them into thinking that I got tricked into giving my grandpa's credit card information. Oh. And then they oh. never questioned oh the God. Gaia stuff oh. either. Oh. Oh my, oh my god. god. I just thought it was just a really sad man <laughs> in his basement. Free pornography. <laughs> Mom, look, they took Grandpa's credit card and they bought Big Mommy GF. <laughs> I I wonder, <laughs> like, sometimes I wonder why my little brother works at Burger King and smokes weed and just lives his life chill. But then I remember that I was a shitty fucking brother. Like, some nights, I when we lived at the apartments as a kid, I would make really big, like, bang sounds outside of his room and say it was gunshots going off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And that, that they're coming for him. Oh no wonder he blew up a corn crib. I was a shitty brother. <laughs> Brendan oh Young, you sounds like a white Eric Andre. <laughs> One time I convinced my brother to run around the trailer park naked because fucking Santa would bring him better gifts that year. Wow. Like, like so he just, ran around. This like shit he would say to fuck with a guest. Th Are this doesn't ran sound around? real. <laughs> he ran fuck? around naked in like freezing weather for like an hour. I got in a lot of trouble that day and I felt really <laughs> oh, shitty. Man. Was it worth it though? I wish I I wish I did shit like that. I was I was too fucking <laughs> I was too much of a good kid. I should have been more of yeah. an asshole. I wish I, I could do shit like that, but I was, was a single like seven child. years older than me, so I'm the one that always got trolled. I couldn't In do shit. In my defense, have I ever trolled? talked about the piss on this podcast? Like the living, like sleeping in the when same bed with my piss? brother? No, man. No. I don't want oh. you to tell that story uh, I mean, on that, the PS3 sure you, podcast. Well, there's no story there. He just said piss and sleeping in the same bed, so I'm pretty sure everybody can connect the fucking okay. piss. But I, I, can like build, I can build a story. Okay, I can build a story from this. Back when I was a kid, me and my brother had bunk beds when we lived with my dad. And um, he would sleep on the top bunk. Now my no, little brother. Dude, I already oh know where no. this is going. Now dude. my little brother, Fuck. my little brother ah. used to watch a lot of horror movies. Snoop Dogg's Bones, Freddy Krueger, Jason <laughs> loved horror movies. But he was Shout terrified of them. So one night I'm sleeping in the bottom bunk and I just feel this wet like dripping on my face uh, and I go, oh my fucking God. <laughs> I know. Classic. Wake him up. Wake him up. Say, no, no, no. This isn't happening. Uh, oh my God. Like called my dad. My dad was like, fucking deal with it. Close the door on me. <laughs> and I just had to sleep. 
<laughs> with piss dripping down on my forehead. My brother got scared and said, I'm going to sleep with you. My piss soaked little brother came down and slept in the same bed with me. This isn't what? the end of it. And then every night since then for three fucking years, he would sleep with me in the same bed and piss the bed. <laughs> what the fuck? So I slept in a piss soaked bed for three Two and a half to three years. Brendan, are you sure you want to? Are you sure you want to do this right now? You sure want to say that about your? You want to have the PS? My little brother's a fucking moron. I love him to death, but I've already told the piss story on Twitch so many fucking times that I don't care. What do you think the P stands for, David? I thought the oh piss. I thought the word trickle was. I thought the word trickle was going to get involved somehow. My grandparents gifted us like 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 kid pampers so that when he peed, at least it would stay in the pampers. Oh, oh no. so that oh, and my dad never cleaned that bed. By the way, not once Why? in the four years I lived with him, uh, because I lived on a farm and my dad made meth boo. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Carry on, <laughs> <laughs> Mister White. We gotta clean your son's bed, Jesse. I gotta hit him. I was too Bang. distracted from all the piss and trickle down. Jeez. <laughs> he stuck it from the piss I realized about the Where other nightmare. Where am I? What the fuck, man? This isn't fun anymore. I thought we were having fun with everybody talking about your fucking dad kicking your ass. I don't know about this. Brendan is one fuck. Brendan is one elaborate set away from being like, I used to tie this girl around a bench and just yell, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. God. <laughs> Holy shit! I uh, I don't know. I had like a I I I don't feel like I had elaborate schemes, but I felt like I f like fell into them. Like um, one time in high school, I uh went out with this girl, and we went to homecoming. And so we we went to homecoming. It was an okay time. The worst part was is like a dude that really liked her was in the friend group, so he kept staring daggers at me and then going. <laughs> 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 and so is like your fucking final fantasy to get to get back <laughs> at her to get back at her i was in choir with one of her friends and so i would loudly talk about how much like because she wouldn't go out with me after and i was pissed about it because i was a fucking virgin like idiot and i would loudly like talk about how much i regretted going and i fucking was like oh my god i wish i just had the money back from what i spent that night <laughs> fucking, what a fucking <laughs> oh waste my god. Yes, like loudly Dang. talk about it in front of uh in front of her friend and then one day she came and like tried to give me money and i was like oh no i'm an awful person i said no no i'm sorry i was being a dick like i'm so i'm fucking oh, sorry God. like i i i no so i refused the money because i was like i'm being a huge asshole she actually did the i'm gonna give you 20 dollars to fuck off move <laughs> basically <laughs> yeah because i was i was fucking special i uh my my best friend and roommate james um I, I, I basically tricked him into being my best friend because he hated me freshman year of high school. Actually, if you go, because he was a year older than me, if you go through his sophomore year yearbook, uh, my face is the only face in it that's cut out with a knife and scratched out serial <laughs> oh killer my style. God. No fucking joke. My best <laughs> friend of 11 years fucking cut my face out of his sophomore yearbook. That's how much he hated me. And I was like, this guy's going to be my friend. <laughs> Brendan, are you saying you didn't want? You said at the beginning of the fucking recording you didn't want to be sinister, and yet here we are. I'm feeling sinister is what I fucking said, boo. That is what he said. He did say he wanted to be sinister, and Maybe it's been learned. a sinister. <laughs> it's very sinister. It's been a very sinister fucking episode. That's. Incredible. I just I've been sitting around a lot since I quit at Best Buy, and I've just been like ruminating. So I just I just am full of 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 I'm fat with the wealth of many stories. <laughs> <laughs> poet that's that's poetic i didn't have huh i thought i had a colorful <laughs> no you win should i talk about magnet man too now yeah that's sure why not Go ahead. all right all right Ed will like Let's, this story. I'm, so uh, since I was like a dumpy like idiot uh trap like white trash fucking like like kid um, I thought that magic was real for a, like an incredibly long time until I was like 12. I believed in Santa until I was 13. Legitimately believed in Santa until I was 13 and thought magic was real until I was 12. 
When I was around nine or 10 uh, at my grandparents' trailer park, I was in one of the trailers and I, uh, my grandma was very crafty. She, she had like little sewing kits and yarn and she was also a hoarder. So like these things were covered in cat shit and cat piss, but like she had a lot of crafty things. And I, I was like, I had this idea. I looked, I went into the kitchen and I looked at the fridge and I said, I'm going to climb this fridge. I'm going to climb this fridge. So I went into my grandma's computer room and I grabbed a hot glue gun and this little baggie of magnets. And I thought, I'm going to fucking glue these magnets to my hands and my head and climb the fridge. Oh, I my God. put oh. hot glue on one of the magnets, sealed it to my forehead. Oh. And you just heard like a, you heard like a, oh. and I went, I went, ah, mommy. Jesus. Oh, Why? Ow. You, what is I fucking had a burn so bad on my fucking forehead. It looked like I was like a bulbous unicorn. Like I fucking like was such a stupid fucking kid. <laughs> Didn't you not already talk about this story? I don't think I talked about this. Well, you know what? In that same trailer park, this is just like a quick anecdote. Jeez. I did once drink out of the toilet uh, with a Tasmanian, uh, ta not Tasmanian, no, uh, Tasmanian devil like cup. I used to drink out of the toilet because I thought the toilet water was cleaner. <laughs> Brendan, your story so far made me think <laughs> you were going to end that sentence at Tasmanian devil. I was drinking no. out of a fucking toilet with a Tasmanian <laughs> devil next to me. <laughs> and I would have believed you. Do no. No, I, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I've just been like ruminating on a lot of this shit lately because I, I don't think about like the, the weird fucking shit that I did as a kid very often. But sometimes I just like, I it, like my brain blasts and I've just cut, tried to like keep any time my brain has blasted lately so that I can remember because I keep a lot of this shit under lock and key because otherwise I don't think I'd be able to function in society without all this shit under lock and key. So I like I just I just have been brain blasting a lot lately since I've had a lot of time and and I've just been saving it for the podcast. Like I'm starting to think Lord of the Flies was based on you or something <laughs> that happened to you. Back um Children it was more like Children of the Corn. Oh, speaking of like Lord of the Flies, um back when I was in foster care in 8th grade. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. <laughs> I was in foster care for a year um, because of some fucked up shit that happened. And uh, I, uh, I was bullied pretty often. And uh, a couple things of note while I was in foster care, um, I, I wrote down like a list of kids I wanted to kill. And oh. then I got my like planner taken away. Which sucked because like my daily planner, if you got to keep your daily planner, if you kept it, you got like you got to go to Adventureland. But if you lost it, you, you, you could. Well, you, no, it was free homework passes. The daily planner had free homework passes in them that if you didn't turn in homework, you got four fucking uh, whoopsies. And if you didn't turn in homework, you had to sit outside of Adventureland at the end of the school year trip for 10 minutes for each not turned I'm in sorry, assignment. But, it, but sorry, I got but mine it, taken away. But Adventureland sounds the fakest shit ever that they would make up for Adventureland. Come on down into real. Adventureland. We're gonna have a fun field day. Brendan, Adventureland sure was a theme park I used to go to in as Iowa? a kid. Yeah. In Iowa? Yeah, it's Adventureland. Adventureland, Iowa. Well, well I don't know. Yeah, it was in Iowa. It's, it's the theme park. It's Adventureland. It even had a jingle. I used to go there a lot as a kid. Shut the fuck up. No, oh, sorry, Brent. Oh, uh, sorry, boo. I can't speak too much good anymore on account of my island dialect. I mean, I can see but that, yeah. but still. Brent <laughs> quitting his job is the best thing to happen to this fucking podcast. <laughs> he broke the limit see, of his I feel, I, like, just... I feel like I'm not sure who's okay right now. I'm, I'm not sure I'm okay. I'm not sure he's okay. I literally just, I have my elbows on my desk and my head in my hands, and I've just been staring at Brendan's name on the voice channel. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've been doing the same. I, I, don't, I, don't think that I, same. Um, I don't think I even I should say my other story. We should just keep this like, going. <laughs> Back that year in eighth grade, I, uh, that was the year that I was in foster care. I, I wrote down a list of names I wanted to kill. I hired two big um, Hispanic kids and paid them in Pokemon cards to like protect me on the playground from bullies. So like, all right, 
Angel and Juvenile were fucking two of my best fucking friends. And like, they were so fucking cool, but I also gave them like Yu-Gi-Oh cards to keep me safe on the playground so I wouldn't get my ass kicked. Even though I was taller than them. But they were whiter than me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, go on. My, uh, my My friend Dean from 8th grade still talks to me and he fucking like is uh, like we used to uh, just walk around town and just like uh, just just talk like nothing weird i i had normal eighth grader moments i i walked around town i would sneak away from school and go to my grandparents because they lived down the street from my school and i wasn't technically allowed to see them while i was in foster care but i would spend like 20 minutes like basically half of my recess period at my grandma's just like chilling playing fucking flash games I'm not supposed Fuck to be yes. doing this right now, but I'm doing this right now. I, uh, I, I, that was the eighth grade was like a wild time for me. Cause that was like when I had to like visit my dad in prison. Uh, I had to like f- be in like court ordered d- places, like talking to people about like, uh, who could like take care of me. And that was just eighth grade is when I peaked. I think honestly, <laughs> Okay. Do we let I'm Brendan talk school. or do we do Patreon questions? <laughs> I, 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 I don't I, know. I it don't just know. keeps going and we're we're, we're, I'm, we're done. D- I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sure? not done. I, I can Your be brain done. is the wild west of fucking brains. <laughs> I can be done. I'm so like I'm sorry. I can be done. I'm just I'm just like I'm just remembering so fucking much. Like I'm just like getting Jimmy Neutron bl- like brain blasted into the next hemisphere. This isn't this, uh, is, this isn't let's get sad. This is let's get sinister. No, this is let's one, get meth. One last one last like tidbit that I think of because I wrote it down uh, in the topics chat. Getting out of the date, um, in eighth grade. The in my foster parents, uh, this this girl lived up the street from my foster parents, and she was really like interested in me. Um, like she would invite me over to play like Wii Sports and shit, like fucking yes! like, super fucking pussy interested. magnet. Um, I was very not interested in her because she had like a very long elephant man style face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh my god. And she she talked wow. about how she talked. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I <laughs> what the fuck? Only in fucking <laughs> only in Tractor the Town. Man looks like. <laughs> she I didn't look at this image didn't, while she didn't. She didn't really. She looked. She looked like a stereotypical horse girl. All right. Elephant like, man she was didn't like, have a long face. <laughs> it was just bulging. So it, not, would yeah, she be the elephant the- girl? No, no, no. It'd be like more like if Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie was a person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, like, she was really interested in me, and I don't know, I just was not interested. Like, I, I didn't have, like, a like a sex drive until I was, like, 17, so I just didn't care about this shit. I wanted to go home and play, secretly play wrestling games on my DVD player under my bed. I, uh, well, because I had to hide it, because my foster parents didn't allow video games, so I had to hide, like, a DVD player and a PS2 under my bed, so I could play WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. But I digress. I got out of like, she wanted to like, her, her parents wanted to like take us out on like, like a lunch date, like a cute little lunch date. And I made up, I, I made up this convoluted story that I was grieving. What? I, okay, <laughs> I, I was Brendan. like, I'm so sorry. I think, I think her name was like Carrie or something like Ky- Kyrie, like, Ky- like literally like Kyrie or <gasps> Carrie or Caitlin or something. Sorry, it, it was a Kyrie, K name. Kyrie. It was a, it was a K name. I don't remember like I, I literally like just at the back of my fucking head. Uh, I was like, oh, Caitlin, I um, I can't go out on a date with you because I'm still grieving my my girlfriend, uh, Sonia. And she's oh. like, what? Oh. Like, oh. yeah. My girlfriend, oh, Sonia Blade. Two weeks ago, she got hit by a truck. Jeez, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> by a fucking truck. And I don't know why I wanted to like advance this story, but I was like. Yeah, her ghost still talks to me and it kind of fucks me up. So I can't, I can't, I can't go out with you. Oh my God. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) You can't keep doing this shit, Brendan. Hey, I adjusted. Doing this shit. I lied so fucking much back then because I just didn't know how to communicate with human beings. I got okay after high school, I promise. 
still went over to her house and just played Wii Jesus. Sports with her. Did you play Wii Sports Resort though? I mean, I'm laughing, but I'm not going to give you no, a lecture. No, because Wii Sports Resort came out too. in high school. Oh, that's unfortunate. Back in college, we used to play Humans vs. Zombies, or we, we started a Humans vs. Zombies game. And um, what is I don't humans think I've told this zombies? one. On. Yeah, Humans vs. Zombies looks like Nerf Tag, um, but it's all campus. So there were about 80 to 90, oh, I think honestly, like 100 students participating. So essentially, oh, there was fuck, one zombie cool. picked as the initial zombie, and you got a green headband if you're a zombie, and you use the headband as an armband if you're a human. And it would take place over three days. Um, the first day, I helped organize all of it because I was part of the uh, the the group um, it was like the group was called like the fun arts uh, committee for the university or like FACU fun because the head Faku. person wanted to be like, fuck mm, you. Very smart. So I was in the group and I helped organize all this. Uh, and but I was poor. I was a poor college kid and an even poorer kid. So the only Nerf gun I had was a small like one dollar. Uh, you have to pump it and shoot the Nerf dart. And the mm. first zombie we picked was somebody who was very, very athletic. Well, I went to classes that morning and I was walking from the bottom dorms up the hill up to the top dorms and uh, uh, in the parking lot was the first zombie and he spots me and I'm like, am I going to be the second fucking person turned at this event? I'm going to be so mad. So I start running, but it's icy and I slip and he tags me and I am pissed beyond belief. I am incredibly mad. This game, by the way, you couldn't actually play it in the university building. You couldn't play it on the camp on like on direct campus. So you couldn't do it during classes. It was only in the dorms and outside of the main building where all the gotcha. classes were held. Gotcha. So I was pissed and I started formulating a plan. Um, I decided to gather with the first zombie and me and him, I would have him and me tag people as we got out of our classes and we started converting more and more people. And the plan was that night that it was that we were going to end the day, end the game on day one because I was pissed off. Uh, I didn't tell him that's why, but I was really, really, really angry that I got tagged on day one and had to be a zombie for the next three days. So I think we got about 10 people for the first day, like uh, for the first like class day up till 3 p.m. But then we all started stalking the parking lots and then we went into the nicer dorm rooms and the nicer dorm rooms everywhere is fair game except for the actual dorm rooms. Yeah. And I would start walking around. I, I sectioned up squads of zombies to patrol and they were like all into it. They were like, oh, fuck yeah. And I sectioned off patrol times for them to wander the hallways. So they would go uh, back and forth here, back and forth there, back and forth there. And we turned more and more and more and more people. I think uh, near the end of the night, uh, we had turned about half of the players into zombies on the first night. So uh, my wife and mm. her roommates at the time in her dorm uh, were trying to go and get food, but they were playing and they were really scared because I would sit outside their door and bang and go. <laughs> <laughs> fucking terrified by the end by the actual like full end of the night it's like 2 a.m i think we've gotten 75 percent of the people turned into zombies my wife uh included and we had to restart the game the next day and then i did it again <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all for not you gotta you had to fucking keep going like if you're a zombie and you got shot, you were out for, I think an hour, but yeah. the only people who ended up surviving were a bunch of nerds, like sweaty nerds, like eight sweaty smash players who just hid in their room the whole day and didn't even go to classes for the game. Dude, <laughs> that's so what cringe. the fuck? Yeah. Glued, dude, glued to the fucking CRT. That's all they do. They glued don't, to the shower, fucking they don't screen. go to classes. They just get like escorted to a bathroom by an adult. Those fucking guys, <laughs> those fucking guys talked me into playing League of Legends once and I'm oh, never doing it again. Man. And I also, they tried time. to get me to play Guild Wars 2. Hey, I heard that game's pretty fine. good. I like Guild it's Wars It's funny. Too. It's it's funny, too, because these, like, seven to eight sweaty nerds, they were super nice, but they had a huge crush on my wife, who was uh, almost my girlfriend at the time, and she didn't realize that. She's like, why are they met? Why don't they talk to you now that we're dating? And I had to explain to her that all these eight sweaty smash nerds had a crush on her because she was girl. <gasps> Woman? 
Woman, play play five. Five. woman, Guild Wars. I gotta. We gotta make. Do Brendan, with your what son we have. is sleeping in the, was sleeping in the forest a second ago. Just kind of worried about him. Oh, uh, it's fine. He he was just listening to my new material and uh, he he worked with it on me for a little bit. Uh, we've been working on it for a while. I hope y'all appreciate it. But uh, he was taking wrong? a break. He's taking a nap. Did I? Just he had to go clear wrong? his head. Why is there just meat on the ground in this auditorium? That is not. That's meat. that's is that part of the show. Floor popcorn. That's floor popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Every amphitheater me. needs good floor popcorn. That's the point. This oh, no, I, I, oh, fuck, I accidentally ate <laughs> do you not? Do you not appreciate? I built a whole theater. I'm building a whole one-man show here. When, when is the one-man show? The one-man right show is whenever you guys come over here. Wait, give me oh, a second. fuck, I'm coming. Why are the... Yeah, I even built benches so you can but sit down. Uh, the... Corbin's oh, my sitting God, on the wrong actually side, looks like a puppet show. Yeah, I built a one-man show. <laughs> I was waiting for y'all. I built benches and everything. I got front row. Got the nosebleed section. Hi. All right, I wrote down some jokes here. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to the One Man Show. My name is uh, Bryn Daniel, but you may know me better as Soldier Number Four. Uh, this is my first time here in the forest, and I gotta say, forest more like the snorest. Am I right? Uh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows. So anyway, little. I haven't seen this much gathering wood since I went to that Hollywood party that one time. If you know what I mean. Oh, uh, sex oh, there. Yeah. Uh, oh sex. You know, big thing is, why are we hungry all the time? Why is food so hard to get? It grows from the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, baby. That's comedy right there. You kids don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty know. hungry, but so you guys, do, do you guys ever want, like, do you guys ever wonder why we can't just open our mouths and let the birds fly in? That's true. Why can't we make jokes anymore, huh? <laughs> I don't, I don't like well, hey, 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 can you calm down oh, there, but oh, hey, oh, it, oh, it's oh. my turn at comedy here. Looks like somebody moved to the back row. Sir, can you come back up to the front row? I paid <laughs> I for those seats I, for I, you. I, I didn't want to sit next to that sir, guy. He... Sir, can you please come back to the front row, sir? It's my bad. It's oh, my wait, bad. He's sir, that's right. Oh, what the fuck is that? You better come back to the front row, what the sir. What is that? What is yeah, he doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I what is know. that? Oh, shit. This is that sound. Yeah, can you please, sir? Can you please, sir? Sir, what's that crashing sound in the woods? Sir, can you please, sir? Sir, Kelvin is sir, Kelvin. Sir, 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 oh God. sir, sir, he's Brendan, oh my God. he's Brendan, I don't, sir. what am I, what am I doing sir. wrong, sir, hey, you guys miss TV, I sometimes miss TV, but the air's so much cleaner out here, right, yeah. uh, anyway, uh, I want to get y'all into, into selling all this Tupperware my wife made me bring, I would rather uh, not, this is, this is, this is a full Tupperware party, and you all have signed the documents, so please, uh, pick up some of the Tupperware there, you are all now official Tupperware salesmen, oh, fuck's sake, what is yeah, he doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is he doing? You're gonna have to sell that Tupperware. You are in debt. We did approve it. Hey, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? What's in your hand? This? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me show you. It's an axe. Wait, Do you well, like I it? Didn't, I, I didn't get a good look. <coughs> Could you? Okay, um... yeah. Let me give. Let me give you a good look at this. Oh, okay. You know what? Now it's starting to make sense. Oh, <laughs> oh you're sick. Let that, me help you out. That, that, that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys for coming to my one-way show. I'll come with more material here? next time. We yeah, we can here? sleep in the house. Okay. Where yeah. did Mandy go? Mandy went to go sell. I could I could sleep <laughs> sleep across the lake. <laughs> <laughs> the second I heard Tupperware, I knew where it was going. <laughs> Which I guess I could sleep in a Brendan house. I feel like crossing the lake might kill me. You're gonna wake up with uh, Fago in one hand and Juggalo paint all over your face. I'm sorry. The other. We're juggling Don't out mind here. If I set some mood lighting. Shout out to my homies out here. Any homies in the chat? I thought that, what I thought are they homies or are they family? What is it? It's family. It's the yeah, Juggalos and family. Juggalo family. But they have the song Homies, Homies. The gathering. Oh my, is there a door? Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> It's you gotta get those numbers up. You gotta sell more Tupperware. I'm ready. Yeah, you sleep. get to you get to lay at the foot of the bed where it's nice and cozy if you sell enough. If you're the top seller, I'll even make you a bed. Shelby did something recently, and then she looked at me and said, "Tell this story on the fucking podcast." And I was like, "Okay, why?" Um, it's not a very good story, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. Um, Shelby and I were out. Uh, we. Had just dropped my sister off. We were watching her, and it was late at night. And Shelby was uh, like having a woman moment, so she really wanted ice cream. So we went to Dairy Queen, and we were waiting in line forever. They took our order. We get up to the uh, the window, 
And they're like, oh, sorry, our uh, internet's broke, so we only take cash. We don't have cash, so we leave. And Shelby's sitting there in the car holding the steering wheel going, those motherfucking, mother God, fucking, goddamn motherfucker. Like, she is, like, like almost ready to bash her head into the steering wheel, like, like fucking death she, grips, like, get, 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 gong, 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 like, the blood rogue is warrior full. in the car. Eat shit, cocksucker. Yeah, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> So we get home and Shelby has ice cream at home. So she grabs it and I go into the kitchen and she looks at me and she says, hammer now. And I'm fucking terrified because my what wife has never looked at me and said, hammer now. So I go find her a hammer and she gets her ice cream out and she pulls Heath little Heath bars out of the cabinet, these mini little Heath bars. And she takes the hammer and she starts smashing them and fucking yell yelling, just hammer cooking, hammer cooking, hammer cooking. And she's Un fucking what screaming it unhinged. What is this fucking the most unhinged I've seen my wife. Energy. Just, boom, boom, boom. Then she looks at me and she says, tell the story on the fucking podcast. <laughs> what the fuck? What? So, what? what the fuck? Why? Because she listens to the podcast. No, but why? Hi, Shelby. Hi, why? <laughs> Hi, Shelby. What you why cook? She's not here. But why? She she, she put cook? she put the Heath bars, the crumbled up Heath bars, in a bowl of ice cream. That's it. Oh, okay. I thought she just smashed <laughs> Heath bars and was like, "There, yeah, me too. fixed." There, I cooked. <laughs> oh, I love my wife. I really like the idea Jesus of you Christ. being married to like. What what are they called in Resident Evil? The guys that chase you around for like the entire game. <sighs> Yeah, like like a, you're married to a Mr. X. Like the you know you're in danger <laughs> when you start hearing in the distance hammer cooking, hammer cooking, hammer cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan's Brennan's walking down the hall and then Shelby just comes bursting through. She just yells hammer wall. through a fucking wall. <laughs> now hammer <laughs> hammer ah. <laughs> The demand of the hammer now thing is like kind of fucking nuts. I can't even imagine Shelby yelling hammer now. Shelby is so I, she says she's boring, but she's so like evil and chaotic. She's like, I'm just evil? a boring That's human so being. Mean. I love my wife. She's fucking evil. Listen, our first, I think our first week together, we were sleeping in the same bed and she Dutch oven me, brought me up and said, yeah, I'm going to marry you. And then just... <laughs> Was that was that her mark? That was eight oven, years she later. Dutch oven, you turned around, looked at you, said, "Put that on the podcast." <laughs> Listen, the first time I had sex was in the basement basement of my ex's house with Shelby. She's just she's fucking evil. My wife be like, "Nerf this." <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Two months ago, I wrote down a bunch of random stories in the topics chat here. And I just mm -hmm. want uh, one of you to pick one, and I'll just go off on it because I think I'll remember. You said what it's two about. months ago, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you I scroll up him. to February, yeah. I got really blasted on gas station, yeah, yeah, and I had like a a, a like a, a, a memory flooding back, so I was just writing shit down. Wait. Also, t before we choose a story, can you please tell me what gas station yaya yeah is? Delta Eight. <laughs> It's like it's it's weed you get at a gas station. It's weed you so Delta Eight Delta Eight is legal because go, of a yeah, loophole. Yeah. And because Delta Eight is legal because of a loophole, gas stations will sell it. Uh so I call it gas station yaya, yeah, yeah, even though it's just <laughs> Delta Eight. I did not get it from a gas station that is stolen valor. Okay. Okay. <gasps> what's the, what's with you and st stealing valor? Uh, me? I don't know. I was thinking about I'm it the other call. day because Shelby and I were in Minneapolis a couple weeks ago and I was yeah. commenting that I was in an Ikea and uh, somebody's like, oh, you should get the Blage and then somebody else commented, Brendan, that's stolen valor. So it's been stuck in my head since then. Oh, I see. Because that's for the, uh, tr the trans plush, right? Yeah. The, 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 Wait, like, is it trans bi or shark. trans? It's blage. It oh, is trans. Shark. Okay. Yeah, that yeah, Blage. Blage the trans shark. Oh, is it Blage? I always pronounce it Blage. Blahage? I always pronounce it like blush. Blah. Blush. You gotta add some oomph in there. You gotta put a little pepper on it. You gotta blush. Put a little pepper on you. Put a little pepper on me. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't know you were a food freak. Come on down. I'll make a whole ice cream sundae on my up. chest. Oh, wow. Tell your fucking hey, how about you hey, tell my ice mom's cream wedding? Sunday. What? Okay, so my mom's <laughs> wedding. Oh god. I don't know what I wrote. I wrote I wrote three. I gotta things take under my it. shirt off, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All I'm saying <laughs> is if you make a Sunday on your chest and you put two cherries on your nipples, I'm there.
I'm there. Ooh, I'm, I'm the sorry. All, okay. I'm so hungry. All so there are three Holy separate fuck. things. Oh, me too. I, I don't remember oh, one of them. Me too. I wrote my mom's wedding, and then parentheses. I wrote smoke weed, comma food, comma drear, and I don't remember <laughs> why I wrote drear. <laughs> I, like I don't like I legitimately don't remember writing drear. So okay. <laughs> it's not even that amazing. I went to my mom's wedding. This is a couple years back. My 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 stepdad. He's like a psychopath, uh, but he's like the least psychopathic person my mom has ever married or been with. Um, so we good went for your mom. Good for good for my mom ish. Uh, so we went to me and my brother and my family, you know, we all went to my mom's wedding. I dressed up nice. Shelby was there. Uh, there's an, two encounters. I know the first two. It's the smoke weed and the food. First up, my mom had the most Midwestern buffet, which was horrible. It was vile. And there was cornflake casserole. And I wanted to throw up. <gasps> What is cornflake casserole? Cornflake casserole is literally, and it's like an Iowa delicacy, and I fucking hate it with every fiber of my being, and you will understand delicacy. why. It's literally cheesy potatoes with a layer of cornflakes on top, and the cornflakes get all soggy and mushy. Uh, what is, I mean, that doesn't look that bad. I'm looking mm. at it. It was totally fine. That that was like the food bit. Like There wasn't like a crazy, there wasn't like a food fight, so I don't know why I wrote food, but the smoke weed part is the real meat and potatoes of the story, the real cheesy potatoes of the story, uh -huh. the real cornflake casserole of the story. Uh, my brother and I uh, were talking. We went out back uh, behind the dumpster, behind the like place where the wedding was being held, this little convention center. We were having like a really heartfelt talk, and he like pulled out a joint. He's smoking weed. I, I take it. I'm smoking weed. And then my mom's fucking friend... Uh, Stephanie, her her boyfriend, her longtime boyfriend, Rob, like breaks into this like heartfelt like moment me and my brother are having talking about my mom and our past and like our lives. And he breaks in while my brother is like crying and he's like, he just starts like talking. He just doesn't even give me a chance to talk to my brother. He just starts rattling off random shit like, oh, I've known you boys since you were kids and you boys are uh, uh, great. And can I get a hit of that? And my brother's like crying. He's like, don't cry, bud. Don't cry. Like, give me a hug. Give me a hit of that. And I'm fucking like losing my mind. <laughs> standing there that. like this he takes he takes the joint from my brother and he just all of it in one go and he's you boys Holy are great you boys fuck. are awesome and he walks away in one go like one go I Holy shit. It. that's like like the cartoon i'm not like a dubious luxurious <laughs> weed smoker normally right like I, I i i don't really imbibe in a lot of like forbidden fruit uh so uh, i i had like one puff of it and then this guy takes it and i'm like it was like my one chance that you're to like smoke weed and he smoked it all away he smoked it all away. Smoking the entire fucking uh, thing all in one go is like actually like Looney Tune shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I imagined. Like that yeah, is no, I, that's that's so fucking Because isn't that like a bit in Tom and Jerry where like they're uh, all cowboys and smoke the cigar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. smoke the cigar in one puff, and that's also like uh, a thing you can do in a King's Cup slash Ring of Fire, whatever. Uh, if you get like the fourth king, a new rule that we added is um, instead of doing like the big chug or doing a dare. You can also, uh, you have to do a cigarette in one minute. Dude, that oh shit my God. is painful. Why would you do that? What the fuck? Yeah, because some of them are heavy Dude, smokers. I don't want to I don't want to go out with you. I don't want to go drinking with you. You fucking weirdo, <laughs> man. That's fucking weird as shit. I mean, we don't force you. That's why there's the A. Hey, more options is always good. Play your choice. Oh, that's true. You can't I've play learned that. Cup I've learned I, I, oh, to bring back what we t the improv bit from earlier. More more choice is always good. That's what I'm saying. Because video the video game. The life is the strange. Bond. The point move is on. move on. I'm gonna it's a moral choice. Censor and it's a that. good one. <laughs> Man, I didn't hear a single thing. <laughs> uh, is there is there no more at mom wedding? That's like it. I don't remember what Drear was about. I oh, I was like, so excited for Drear. I couldn't. I can't remember. What Drear was, my like uncle was there, and I can talk about my uncle for literally hours. My uncle Jamie, um, he's the piss jar uncle. Have I ever talked about him on the podcast? Piss yes. jar uncle. Yes, we know about the piss jar. We know. So, like he, so like he used to uh, cavort and hoard bottles of like empty bottles of Mountain Dew and jars of piss. You already in my told this basement. story I've before. About him before. It's like the so, third time. He was like, he was like really stinky. Like that was he kept walking around and he smelled like decayed mm. trash. 
Like, I can't remember what I wrote for Drear. Like, I really wish I knew. I wish I could, like, discombobulate I, my brain and remember what Drear means. I want to know about the orb that kills old people, because that's just the plot to Phantasm. Okay. Brendan, I have wait, to wait, my, wait, wait, wait. Before yeah, we do that, Brendan, I really want you to fucking go up to your uncle. He's got a piss <laughs> jar, and you go, I've known you for so long. Can I get a hit of that? <laughs> <laughs> No! no. Please get a hit of that. No, tell us what you're make a piss no. jar bong. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. No. That'd be something they do on, like, side talk or something. They make a fucking bong out of piss. Beepy Drink bong. the honey. <laughs> David, I, are you ready for the orb that kills old people? Because I don't know. I don't. I also don't want to like Bogart the episode with my like diabolical like uh, nefarious schemes. I don't know. It just sounds like the plot to Phantasm. Phantasm. And I like Phantasm. Yeah. Okay. I have to like prepare myself. The glass the ball. Off. Okay. L let's brace ourselves here. I'm strapping in. I got my jar. Everybody knows about the theory or the, 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 the brain think from the last couple of years, especially like there was a TikTok trend where it's like, when did you become sentient? What was your first like memory, right? Like yeah. everybody's familiar with the, like your first memory. Yeah. When did you become sentient? Um, I remember mine. Me, mine is very quick. I was at a cr uh, fucking Christmas thing in a mall. I saw an elf looking down on me and I got, I fucking pissed my <laughs> pants. <laughs> Because I was scared of elves. Oh, mine's not funny. Hey, let's move on. I'm still waiting on mine. But let's hear about the storm. <laughs> It'll happen. It'll my happen. my very first memory has become corrupted throughout the ages uh, because I'm 29 years old turning 30 and because I had a uh, bad brain and I have bad brain. So throughout the years, it's gotten partially corrupted and mixed together with a dream, uh, making my very first memory at three years old uh, the, 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 this nightmare. So... My very first memory was at an amusement park. And at this amusement park, I remember having fun and playing-ish, like a vague memory of like having fun being in like a little toy ride. But there was a Berenstain Bear Science Center in this amusement park. And in the Berenstain Bear Science Center, I walk inside and there is Papa Bear. And he has an orb in front of him. It's a plasma orb. <laughs> oh. And I go up. And in the memory, as I remember it, I walk up and I touch the orb and I can feel its energy pulsing. And I look <gasps> at my hand and I can feel the energy from the orb in this memory, mind you. And I look to my right. There's an old man in a brown sweater. He's got graying bald hair. He has big, thick, uh, like round glasses. And he has, uh, I, I, I think it was either jeans or some kind of like blue pant. <laughs> I remember him very vividly because I look at my hand and I point to him and I go, I, I like point directly at him and electricity shoots out of my hand and vaporizes him and nobody said anything about it. <laughs> and like, this is so telling of who you are as a person. Like, yeah, I, this like, is your I, like, first memory. I like rubbed my eyes and I looked and there's no pile of ash, no nothing. That orb vaporized an old man. He's <gasps> gone. And I, like I said, I preface this by like memory and dreams kind of interacted to, to, to form this orb, who like the orb that kills old I people. I feel like when you're that young, you just like dreams and memories kind of just become the same thing. And then you just kind of also your imagination is fucking crazy at that age. So you just kind of imagine things being weird. Maybe. I can't I can't really relate to that experience. That, that sounds scary, though, if you tried to search back into your mind and see what your first memory is, and it's just you zapped <laughs> the orb an old, old man. People. The worst part was of the memory is I was like, that was awesome. And I kept trying to touch the <laughs> orb to do it again, and it wouldn't work. And so uh, I've had it in my head throughout, like, until, you know, like, 14, where I really processed this memory. It was like, that wasn't real. I did believe that memory was true until I was, like, 14, 15. That um, is crazy. That and I was like, I was always like, uh, re you know, reading books about magic and shit. And I was like, dude, what if everybody got only a, got one? So what if so everybody <laughs> got one orb? Everybody <laughs> only got one. They got one zap hey, and you wasted it on some random I old person. I wasted it on some old person <laughs> that I vaporized wasted? outside of reality. But you didn't even <laughs> vaporize them. You kind of just popped them out of existence. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a dream walker and a smooth talker. And if you they're, come to me, I'm going to hit you with the orb. Dude, 
their grandkids were looking for you for people, years and now they know where you are. People are going to be fucking checking like missing persons cases in 1996. <laughs> like, 1986, <laughs> Iowa oh, missing fucking person. cold case. <laughs> Oh my! I mean, I, it, it ha, I, what's the yeah? What's the um, what, what was the word? Fucking when when the case statue goes of cold, limitations. Statue of limitations on <laughs> what's the statue <laughs> of limitations on vaporizing an old person? Oh my god, Brendan! You might be safe, uh, Brendan, dude. If you imagine this, like it, it, it's all actually within statue of limitations and all that, and the and the that old person's family tries to sue you, but then you realize, wait. Everybody in the jury's really old, and then you go, "Excuse me, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, request instead of a phone call, I, I like to request my one orb. I have the right I'd to like, my, my, my plasma orb, my <laughs> orb, and then I just Palpatine everybody in the jury. <laughs> Unlimited power. But does everybody only get a vaporization, or like, is it is it everybody? Beyond that? So the way I've thought about it, like since I was a kid, was everybody gets one magic moment, and my magic moment was vaporizing an old person. Your magic moment could be like, oh, a, 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 an ice cream sundae appeared right in front of me awesome or it could be my dad's a truck now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm pretty sure that's that's an anime is, that's, is, is that a plot to some that yeah. isekai'd with my isekai'd with my dad but he's turned into a truck <laughs> wait no reborn in another world with my father but he's a truck now my dad reincarnated as a semi <laughs> Brendan, the image of you at like age 13 just thinking to yourself like how do I get it back like what, how do I do it again I, oh like, trust me like I so I there was a lot of escapism in my childhood like that's why my imagination like runs in overdrive that's why I yes. like talk and act the way that I am and so like there were moments where I would try to like ma make magic real like on the farm I would run outside with my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and throw them out in the ground and imagine they were real and fighting each other in a big Yu-Gi-Oh war oh I remember doing stuff like that but also I spray painted magic ruins on my grandparents trailer and got in trouble I, okay. I was I was definitely the kid that just like stood outside by themselves during recess like if it were on like a windy day and just like looking at just staring at leaves with my hand out just like flexing my fingers and like if the gust happened to blow at a certain time I was like I knew it <laughs> I, <laughs> I fucking planned I it I knew it <laughs> I, <laughs> I made it so <laughs>